more secret stages. I'm almost at the chemical plant. How's the rookie doing with the distraction? Oh, so far, so good. We might have to stop using the nickname Rookie if the kid keeps this up. Next, you've got to get to the computers at the chemical plant and shut down the Death Egg's weapon system. Perfect. I've been waiting for my turn to bust some heads. Okay, I will say this. I do think this was one of the better levels. Uh, there's some secret hidden, uh, hidden part. There, there's some hidden paths that are like actually very clever and. Oh god, these controls. Uh, um, not exactly easy to find, and there's some cool shortcuts that I've seen people do. But yeah. There's honestly not a lot else I can say about this game at this point. Oh god. The, I, I guess one other thing to talk about is like some side content that this game has. And the... Are all those boost pads really necessary? Just saying. But yeah, they... The way this game does post content is also complete whack because there's uh, three different types of um, collectibles you can get. Like obviously besides rings and all that. Um, okay, first off, th th this is an example of like a cool secret path. Like I, I do like, I do like that. But as I was saying, there's uh, three different tiers of co of like major collectibles. There's the red rings, which are you get by that like you find them through the stage normally but then as you get all of, all of those uh, like in some point in the stage there's like f like five numbered rings or whatever and you get those and then you play through the stage again and then there's five moon rings somewhere okay whatever and I I'd be fine with these, with these collectibles if one, they were all just all in the level from the start and you didn't have to keep replaying them just for the next tier of collectible to show up. And second, I would like them if the numbered ring, the numbered and the moon rings actually did a, like anything. Like I don't, they probably gives you like more avatar clothing, but they don't unlock levels or anything like the red rings do. To my knowledge, anyway, and it's just padding. Oh my God. The Death Egg's weapon systems are down. Now's your chance. Move. Hurry. Just destroy the Death Egg and cut off the power supply. You're making it sound like a walk in the park. This is a Death Egg. Don't sweat it. The other Sonic has this under control. Death Egg, Death Egg. Go I love these level names. This totally sounds like Death Egg music, right? Now I will say this, again, level design for this stage is totally fine. I, I think it's pretty decent, honestly, but again, this is classic Sonic Enforces, so it doesn't matter how good the level itself is, it's still gonna be complete ass because the controls like ass. Like, I don't know what else to say. Like, what is this music as well, man? Like... Uh, the classic Sonic music in this game is just... It's just some of the worst Sonic music I've ever heard, like... 
Sonic 4, like, wasn't the most popular in terms of, like, soundtrack, but, like, it's miles better than what whatever this is. And I mean that. I, I'm, I'm not taking that back. Sonic 4... Uh, no, I'll, I'll say it straight up. I think... I thought you said this is the tits for a minute. Uh, I'll say this straight up. I think Sonic 4 as a whole has a better soundtrack than Sonic Forces. You can quote me on that. I mean it. Because I actually... Uh, I, I don't love like all of Sonic Force music, but... A, lo a decent amount of tracks in both Episode 1 and 2 I do actually like quite a bit. And while I do uh, like a decent amount of tracks in this game as well... There's also a good amount that I just think are terrible. <laughs> uh, I... Like, this totally sounds like Death Egg music, right? Oh, by the way, remember in the Zabuk fight where they, there was there were a bunch of uh, animals and well characters just stuck in cages and stuff. We never saved them. <laughs> They're dead, I guess. I just feel my soul draining, like, the more I play this. Mission accomplished. The Phantom Ruby signal has gotten much weaker. This should effectively put a stop to the Doctor's greatest weapon. The Sonics have made an opening for us. We can't just let that go to waste. This is the moment we've been waiting for. Time to settle the score. Now that the Phantom Ruby is out of the way, we can finally smash Eggman into an omelette. Hey, don't count your chickens before you smash your eggs. Rouge is right. The fact that Eggman and Infinite are still around means we can't let our guard down. I just want everyone to get home safely, okay? All right, fine. Everyone get your game face on. The target is Eggman at the central tower. All right, let's do it. What's the point of that platform? <laughs> now this is... Again, Metropolis, like I said, is probably the uh, best... Probably has the best levels in the game, because it actually rewards you for being... Having, like, skillful play, and it... Like, I know this has some of the most, most interesting level design, and I think if you... Jump somewhere here. No, no not, not like that. I mean, there's still a bunch of sections like this where it's just a bunch of nothing. But, um. Ah! Uh, 
There we go. Yeah. Cool little shortcuts like that, so... Yeah. I do like the levels in Metropolis a, a fair bit. Like, this is, like, the one moment in the game where, like, the level design is actually, like, somewhat intriguing, and uh, it rewards you for um, finding different pathways and doing cool stuff with your with the like the air boost for example and yeah not still not like the best levels in the world or anything like that but compared to the rest of the game this is like the best thing ever <laughs> has some like time challenges with these platforms and whatnot and it's like yeah there's actually something going on <laughs> imagine that And also, you don't have a drift, so you kind of just have to awkwardly move to the side. <laughs> God. Oh, Orbo and Cubot there looked stoned as hell. <laughs> This is almost as bad as the new mission, new mission unlocks uh, thing that shows up in Secret Rings. Oh, you you want to you want to see another disappointing concept? Oh, not not disappointing concept. Let me rephrase that. You want to see another cool idea that has its the the actual execution well done, is just. Glad you could make Shot in the foot. Infinite, do it. Take this. What is that? Har, har. That, my spiky little creditor, is null space. Null space? It's a little something that the Phantom Ruby cooked up. A closed off space where absolutely nothing exists. Goodbye, Sonic, my soon to be eradicated nemesis. Enjoy all the nothing. destroy the power source of my weapons, I decided to learn from my mistakes. I had a backup power source created under Metropolis. One thing I will say, I, one one element of this story that I do like is that um, I, I do this like the idea we of like Eggman like constantly one-upping one the, uh, the heroes. Like, Oh, he destroyed the the death egg, but Eggman had a backup plan to that, and then later he's he like has a bunch of backup plans and all that. And I do like I do think that's good. I do like how he's really showing why he has like a 300 IQ or whatever. But yeah, <laughs> cool idea. Being in null space and like having. That, like that's a cool idea for a level but it's over in like two seconds like we have the main theme of the gameplay oh good I probably shouldn't be using the drill west for this <laughs> um, but like yeah it, it, if this was like if you're in like a null space for like say like two minutes and then you go out, out into the like the action back into the city and like and it's like this part of the stage the music here would be so much more, like, empowering. Like, you just went past a impossible um, obstacle. Oh my god, no, 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 screw this. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm not using this wisp on. Um, like, it would be such an empowering moment, and it, f it would f make you feel like you just got through the impossible. But it's like, nah, I can't have any of that. Yeah, it rings a bit. Mm. 
not. Oh, right. Oh, wait. Okay, let's do that one. Alright, let's do that again. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like how they had to block every cutscene. <laughs> this isn't where we were meant to end up. Let's head back. Everyone's waiting for us. I don't even think I need to press anything here. Boost. Yeah, the funny thing about the double boost segments is that you don't even need to hold the button down. You just, you can just let the game. It, like, it makes you do like a tripping animation thing or whatever, um, and then you just do it anyway. <laughs> it's like this game is allergic to any sort of challenge, it's hilarious. Okay. Now this is, ignoring the disappointment, the disappointment with null space, this is still one of the better levels in the game. Oh, okay. Because, like, again, there's a bunch of different pathways you can find with the different wisp powers, and there's a lot of... Uh, well, I imagine... I, I haven't done this much myself, but I imagine there's a lot of cool secrets you can... Or, like, a lot of uh, cool tricks you can do with the, uh, with, like, speedrun stuff, strats and whatnot. But, yeah. A lot of grind rails. But again, I it it makes me laugh that people think this level design is the same tier as colors. Like again, have we played the same games? If you like this game, that's fine. More power to you. But like, you have to be insane to think this is on the same level as colors. Like, what are you smoking? <laughs> it's not even remotely close. There we go. Like, even the best levels of this game, like, are not... I mean, okay, there are, there are, there are a couple levels in Colors that aren't the best, but... Mo Most of, like, even the weaker levels in Colors, I would honestly say are miles better than the... Than the uh, miles better than the best stages from Forces. <laughs> It's impossible to get under the Phantom Ruby's null space! Now, maybe by myself, but I had a little help from my friend. Something you wouldn't understand, since you don't have any friends. This changes nothing. Dr. Eggman will still have the last laugh. Maybe he'd have more friends if he didn't talk about himself in the third person. Okay, now what? Oh, excuse me. We've got less than an hour before Eggman's plan goes down. There's no more time. We have to break into the fortress now. Indeed, this is it. Our last opportunity to bring peace back into the world. But... When the battle ends, we'll have to part with Sonic. I mean, this Sonic, won't we? Yes. If the Phantom Ruby is gone, I guess he'll be returned to his dimension. Thank you for everything, Sonic. I'll never forget what you did for us. Save the sentiments for later. This is not over yet. We still have a battle to fight. Exactly. This is our last chance. Give it everything you've got. Okay. Let's go! Oh yeah, th this scene. Take 
god. It's like one of the, this is one of, like one of the lamest fight scenes I've ever seen. Like, what is this? Hey, Infinite! Long time no see. Did you miss me? Why, yes, I did. I've been looking forward to finishing you and your annoying friends. I trust you're all ready for oblivion. If you're not, oh well. What? Who dares? Target reconfirmed. Extermination mode initiated. Payback inevitable. Omega, you've joined us? Awesome. Is there no end to this annoying insect? I will burn your resistance to ashes, and you along with it. <laughs> Special effect, right? No, it's not. While we're under the Phantom Ruby's control, it's a part of our reality. Unbelievable. What chance do we have against that? The sun will fall upon you all. Boom. The end. Your pathetic lives are over. Look, it's reacting. Eggman said something about the Phantom Ruby prototypes. Let me see. Uh, huh? Whoa, it is! He said the Phantom Ruby prototypes only react to the person who activated it. That must be you, buddy! Mm -hmm. Your courage and heroism are probably what triggered it. Just maybe. If you use this, it can make that sun disappear. Hmm. Alright, let's do it. <sighs> yeah, I, I really don't have much to say about this game anymore. Ooh, okay. Now let's try that again. Alright, that works. Whee! <laughs> Oh god. I like how the lightning wisp here basically just makes me skip all this la all the level design here. I do have a funny st well no it's not really a story but uh, in a game store like years ago I remember hearing like this theme uh, just being played. <laughs> Play, being played on like the speakers or whatnot, so that was pretty funny. Oh, okay, I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, <laughs> damn it, dude. Oh my god. Why? Please just let me win. <laughs> uh. 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 Was. Yeah, the, like when this game make, oh, dude, when this game like actually makes you do like more uh, precise platforming like this, it just doesn't work. Cause like again, this game just controls like ass. This I can only say that so many times, but like like when you have to do more things that are more specific, it just makes you hate life. <laughs> like screw this, dude. Screw this. <laughs> I'm not doing this on purpose, I just... Oh my... I can't... Again with the freaking Speed, like, I... I can't tell... I can't tell where my... Where my jump's gonna end. Like... Oh 
my god. This is garbage. This is the worst controlling game. Okay. Outside of like secret rings, I, I genuinely think this is the worst controlling game in the series. This is, I can't. Okay, even okay, even with secret rings, uh, as bad as that game like controls, I can at least like work my way around it to the point where the controls aren't an issue for me anymore. The thing with this game, it just, I can never tell like how things are gonna work like it always feels like a crapshoot whether or not um my jumps are gonna like function how i expect like it's just this this game dude again can you tell i don't like this game i don't like being a neg negative nancy but like there's only so, so. There's only so many things I can say that I like about this game. There's like. I do like how tight that can get though. Like, if, if this game had better controls, that probably would be a pretty good level. But like. When you have controls that are like this, it's just... It just makes you want to kill yourself. <laughs> Make peace with your fate. That was the similar sins uh, sound effect. <laughs> Three, two, one. Zero. I'm st honestly struggling to think of anything else to say about this game. I don't know anymore, dude. All ships, provide backup to Sonic and the others. Draw the enemy's attention and shield them from damage. This game just makes me upset. I guess, uh, what well, one thing I can say is that one thing that uh, the boost games are always criticised of is being boost to win, and that's never really been the case. Like, you all, these games always had to, you, you've always had to like have quick reaction times to actually be good. There's like um, a lot of different pathways and collectibles to find, and. Um, you know, there's a lot of skill skill involved with the other boost games, especially if you want to speed run them. And I, I'll say this: I don't mind linear level design if I'm being challenged and it's very focused in like the the obstacles and like there's, you know, just generally just stuff going on. But the thing with this game is that the, the level design is just a bunch of nothing, like I've been saying. And it literally is boost to win, like the people uh, criticize the other games as apparently being, which they aren't. <laughs> I'm 
Night Force is basically... It's basically what, um... People criticize the other boost games for, like, for being. Like... <laughs> Even with the Phantom Ruby weakened, I still have enough power to smash you into blue jelly. I'll show you how outclassed you really are. I'm in a class all my own. Time to put up or shut up, Infinite. I'm just gonna say this. Frontiers better be good. Uh... <laughs> It is. It, it does seem pro promising so far, and like the review, like as of this recording, it's like literally the day like before Frontiers comes out, and How the reviews seem fairly positive. It's like a lot of sevens and eights and stuff. There's some negative stuff, but like it's a. Uh, I'm just. I'm just happy to see Sonic Team actually do something, uh, like risky again, if you will. Yeah, this is literally just the Metal Sonic fight again. Like, they built this guy up in the marketing as, like, infinite, like, the strongest opponent Sonic's ever fought. And it's like... It's just a Metal Sonic fight again. It's like... Are you serious? Are you serious? But yeah, it's like... This game, again, this game is just kind of allergic to having cool moments. Like, they could have had the final infinite fight be something really fun and climactic, but it's just Metal Sonic 2.0. I keep thinking I have the drill worst, but I don't know why. Alright, please, let's just get this over with. Yeah, this is the same attacks as in everything, it's like. Bruh. I, I don't care anymore. Jump to him, and that should be it. Here goes, partner. When we join forces, the sky's the limit. I'm just gonna leave it. It made no difference. Oh right, I forgot the hover was in this game. Infinite's just you out of the story. I didn't believe Infinite could lose. Victory will be so much sweeter when I defeat. 
don't think this is over yet, you blue nuisance. My plan just went into overtime. <sighs> oh, great, this stage. <laughs> I, 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 just end me, please. Phantom Ruby signal is moving underground. Eggman is up to something again. The doctor hasn't given up. Don't let your guard down yet. We have to find the entrance to the central tower. Okay. Stop, Eggman. That's another thing I forgot. The way this game's physics work, uh, well, I mean, I've talked about how they're just kind of bored, but like, for some reason, if you like, touch like the side of a wall, it would just kind of go straight down. I don't know why, and it's really awkward. Okay. <laughs> didn't mean to do that. But I don't, okay, let me see if I can show it off here, like, just kind of, uh. Yeah, I, I don't know how noticeable this is, but like... No, I think it's when you, if you like... Roll it. Like that. You just go straight down if you like... Spin dash or drop dash or whatever into a... Basically just roll into a wall. And it just feels so strange. No, I don't understand. There's a lot of things I don't understand, but like... This game's physics especially don't understand. Yeah, these things from Scrap Brain soon, so that's neat, I guess. And it's kind of cool that you can do this. Oh yeah, and also auto scrolling. Like Lost World had, I, I think Lost World had like at least one auto scrolling level, but like. It doesn't mean it. You should have it in this game. <laughs> like at least with the one in Lost World, there's those like collectibles to get while you're waiting for the for the level to scroll. Like there's just kind of a bunch of nothing do going on here. Th that th this basically just this game. Oh good. Basically just this game in a nutshell. It's just a whole lot of nothing. I can't can do it. <laughs> just jump and just mess that whole sequence up. Yeah, I can't. Again, I can't tell if these jumps are gonna make it or not. They just feel so strange. It's one of those things where, like, it's kind of hard to explain if you aren't playing it yourself. But like, you just if you just play the game, you'll see what I mean. Like, it just the jumps just don't feel feel right. Okay. Damn it. Ah, oh, please. Right. Looks like we can get in through that passage. Hold on. I'll send in reinforcements right away. Okay, you gotta be careful here, because if you don't hit that dash pad, you're probably gonna die here. Okay. <laughs> Where's level 29? Because I honestly don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> 